Yeah, the flyers fucking suck, dude. Yeah, man. We had a teacher that used to, uh, and this is kind of weird. She used to take pictures of us. Yeah. Like, she would come to all our games, and she would, like, take pictures of the players. Now we're talking, dude. And she really liked my one friend, Tommy. What was she doing with him? She would just take so many of these pictures of these kids. What? When I'm talking, like, from Pee Wee's, like, our entire t- time at St. Joe's. She was a photographer, What'd dude. she do with them? She would give them to us. I don't know if she kept some spares around there. Mm. Did she ever, like, you ever catch her plucking any of your hairs out of your head? Not me. She didn't like me. She was interested in old Tortuga, dude. Really? She had a good... You may remember him as Young Lad from the Notre Dame trip. <laughs> he was a real sweetheart, this kid. <laughs> so they're just taking pics. She's just taking pics of you guys. Right now he's laughing in his office would as she, he's listening to this. Would she so. give them back to you guys? Like, here's a picture. I yeah, yeah, yeah. She has some sick pictures of us. But in hindsight, it's like, that's pretty weird you're taking pictures of fifth graders playing football. Did she football. have kids herself? No. Yeah. No kids. Yeah, the less... Really nice lady, though, so yeah. kind of shitting on her on this, but I mean, that's a weird behavior. There's a lot of weird behaviors that you get older and you look back on and you're like, well, that's, you don't, if you're older, that's kind of weird. If you're older and you don't have any kids, it's like, it starts getting weird. Yeah. I went to my niece's birthday party, and when you don't have any kids, no one says anything, but like, you show up, everyone you know has kids, and everyone's kind of looking at you like, what's up, toucher? So what the fuck are you doing here? It's just weird. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm just here for my niece's birthday, and they're like, "Where's your kids?" Like, oh, I don't know. Well, I have a podcast. And, uh, <laughs> I have two dogs in a podcast. I'm like, I, I won 2016 <laughs> Philly's Funniest, so like, I'm uh, pretty much just focused on my career right now. I'm about to get a hundred bucks this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Well, yeah, you roll up and you're starting to be like, yeah, I feel pretty weird. Yeah, I hear you. all my friends. I just I got a fucking envelope up there from my friend is. Uh, his wedding and wedding invitation. Mm. The fucking invitation's worth more than my life. Yeah, they do. Those There's like are fucking crazy. velvet ribbon. The inside of the envelope was like nice flowery pattern. Should just fucking on the inside. Tape it up. You I, said I, as a manhood, I'm, bro. I, fucking, I didn't throw it out. You said it's as a sitting manhood. on the table. I'm saying. Shout out Brian Morris. What up, bull? You should wear that. I'm thing. an RSVP on my podcast. You're going. Yes. <laughs> Plus one, I'm bringing my bitch, dude. <laughs> I thought about writing that on the fucking <laughs> plus one, yeah, guest, my bitch. Because oh everything's God. like real nice, cursive yeah. and shit. Um, yeah, it'll be fun. Yeah, that's, I mean, dude, it, there's, if you're like a 35, 40 year old woman, and you don't have kids, it's like you get a fucking camera, you start going to the football game, snapping pics. You know, it gets weird. Shit unravels quick. Yeah, snapping, she, the, snapping pics of the kids. Is, the, the, I think I think she might have been gay though. I think she was gay. I have no idea. I have no fucking idea what she was doing. Maybe loved, we, had a, we had a lesbian gym. Teacher. Loved the Hershey Bears. I remember that. That's what? funny as shit. Who yes. the Hershey Bears? I just remember that the Hershey Bears. Who are the Hershey Bears? <laughs> Some of the fucking like fucking ten times Calder Cup Calder Cup champions, dude. What is it? You don't know Hershey Bears? Are they triple A ball? It's uh yeah, it's the, the hockey for the. Oh, they're like the Phantoms. For the Capitals. It's like the Phantoms. They're better than the Phantoms, but yes. Well, well, yeah. Let's look at the cups, dude. <laughs> Count the rings. Hershey Bears. <laughs> let's, let's go. So she loved the Bears. She loved her some Bears She snapped pics of them, too? I don't know if she was snapping pics. Dude, her pick collage she might was have been snapping sick. dicks down there, dude. You think she so? loved the, I she's she a lesbian. Was a, she was a Hershey Bears groupie. For she, she like loved the Hershey Bears, dude. Do you know how many people love the Hershey Bears? It's probably like her and like two other dudes <laughs> that were like, "Let's go Bears, come on!" <laughs> I mean, not the because I, I know people like this too who get real into minor league local ball, and it's like, dude, you can't even like like NFL. It's like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah. Give yourself some credit. Yeah, but I think it's a thing too. Is like with minor league ball, you can get kind of closer to the players. You can get so, close to the players, which is odd. Yeah, it's like it's way easier to be like if you're really into like the Philadelphia soul or whatever, you could like you could arguably chill with one of them if you really want to definitely chill with the soul player. You probably <laughs> yeah. find his name on Facebook and yeah. just message him. Yeah. I might do that now. Well, that's a sick that's players. a sick scene to get into like uh minor sports. AHL. Yeah. <laughs> AHL hockey, dude. There's some good hockey down there. You can find some good hockey down there. So she's a teacher. I'm just trying to absorb the bleakness of this life. So she's a teacher. Damn, this is really harsh. There's it's zero sad. chance she's going to get a hold of this. I mean, it's sad. I'm not shitting on it's her. It's a pretty I'm just, small town I'm from, though. My whole thing is that you don't know it was a ble- it how been, hard your life can must bottom out. bleak as fuck. You don't know how hard your life can bottom out until you get a little older. She's a great and you're school like, teacher. She taught us. Yeah. Did I include that? She was yeah. our teacher. She was a teacher. She would go picks. to our games yeah. and take pictures of us. Like She had a real nice camera and would walk around the field and take pictures 
Yeah. <laughs> and it's so innocent. It's not that it bad. Is, for is, some reason, in my head, innocent. I'm just like, God, that's fucking sad. And it's like, why? But it kind of is. Because after all the pictures are done, you're done teaching school, summer break comes, you sit in your chair, and you're just like... <laughs> yeah, it gets a little... You start thinking about driving a little close to the edge on that big hilly road, and you're like, no, but I got to teach grammar next year. I need to learn how to read. <laughs> That's when you got to get a cat. That's when you get a cat and a camera. You and get like, somebody to care I'll for take you. take pictures of the boy. Buttons loves me. <laughs> so sad, dude. Yeah. It, it, that it was does. like when we were in the pool the one time. When we were in the uh, remember we were swimming in Caitlin's pool. <laughs> yeah, that was and, um, it's like you move into an apartment complex. And like yeah, they have a pool here, and you're like fuck yeah. And then like you go to the pool in the summer, and you're sharing a pool with strangers, and you're like I didn't think anyone else was going to use this. Yeah. This kind of sucks. It was real weird. And then kids like <laughs> yeah. I've been down there like with Caitlin or by myself. Like if I go down with Caitlin, she sunbathes. Yeah. So it's just me in the pool. Yeah, I know. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> just floating with my arms out. This fucking fat guy just in the pool and like kids will get in. Yeah. And I'm just like, all right, I'm out of this yeah, fucking like, I'm pool, dude. Here. We Fuck sat this. there and threw a ball to each other and I just like kind of watched. There was like some dude with like, like, a no, like a sleeveless shirt just like laying out. He had like a Tasmanian tattoo t- t- on his that arm. That sounds about right. He's, he's just laying That's there a, like. If you were born in Mechanicsburg, you have to have a Taz tattoo. <laughs> it's just issued upon birth. It is. It's like, it's like you gotta get like my my sister has uh, Bugs Bunny with like baggy gym shorts and like a jersey and, like holding <laughs> basketball. She's got a sick ass Bugs Tune Squad shirt. Dude, I stand by my idea for the Pennsylvania state flag. What's that? It's just a fat lady holding way too many two liters of soda, <laughs> just kind of like <laughs> them falling out of her arms. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's the flag should be a fat lady carrying too much soda with. Pittsburgh Steelers Zubaz <laughs> pants. You know those fucking like yes. zebra fucking weird. Yeah. But she's gotta have like an Eagles hat or something. It's gotta be it's gotta represent the whole state. And she's like actively yelling at someone behind she's her. She's yelling at somebody that Joe Pod didn't know. <laughs> she's like, Joe Joe Pod didn't know nothing. He didn't know about them damn kids. Now shut up. Give me my RC Coles. Who was the teacher that was like fucking all was that what school was that? I think it was a college basketball team. There's a teacher who's like fucking all these dudes. She would, like, drive them in her car and, like, make them fuck her, and she'd say, like, racial stuff to them. Jesus. This is, like, a couple years ago. And these dudes were like, yeah, I did it. It's like, they were interviewing these, like, black D1 athletes, and they're like, yeah, it's kind of weird, but, you know, I'd fuck that lady. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't, I I don't remember the fuck that. fuck that was. I hope I'm not making that up. What, a weird. lady was fucking the players? She like was, a yeah. Booster? She was, like, yeah, she it was a teacher, and she would, like, go oh, and okay. buddy up with them and be like, hey, this is what I want to do. That happens a lot, because a lot of the D1 schools get, a lot of the players, you get your a personal fucking a teacher. Yeah, like so they get like yeah, that's assistance that's similar to what was so going like, on. There, there was that show Last Chance You. Did you watch that at all? Mm-mm. It's on Netflix. It's about it's a school in Scuba, Mississippi. It's a JUCO where players that either didn't have the grades to go D one or were D one and got kicked out. They go to a junior college okay. and try to get back into D one. Oh yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. And I didn't see this. So this school and the one academic advisor is this like hot lady. And think she's, she's just catching some so fucking... like, it's real. It's kind of fucked up to think of this this way. It's mm-hmm. actually not fucked up. You see a bunch of like young athletes, young black athletes <laughs> coming into this white, this hot white lady's office every day, and it's like she's definitely fucking these guys. Well, I mean, they're not coming in their socks, dude. They're fucking yeah. They're coming. Comes going somewhere. Come is going somewhere. Comes flying, dude. That lady. The chances <laughs> of her not catching a little slim to none. I know, and and she like comes loves, flying around campus. She loves the players, and like I'm sure she does, dude. She's like They're a giving very her fucking multiple motherly dude. figure. Oh, stop it! She's a strong maternal figure. We gotta take lives. a break. I need to jerk off real quick. It is hot as fuck. Like if three dude, of them, that'd be the best porno ever. I, I, I'm telling you, man. I think I watched the report on that lady who was getting piped out by all these yeah. football players, and I like turned it off and like jerked off in my room and came back, <laughs> and I was like, man, that's sick. <laughs> they should fucking do something yeah, about it. Anytime there's a hot teacher, fucking kids, it's like, whoo. Yeah. Whew. It is. It's tough, but it's also kind of fucking devastating, dude. If you're in seventh grade and like your teacher sucks your dick, that's just way too much confidence. That's. I think that'll fuck you up. Maybe. Really? It is. It is. Like, it's funny that that's the one issue that like society seems to draw a line on and is like, all right, it is different than a male teacher. 
Yeah. Like everybody, it's funny that everybody kind of agrees on that. It's totally different. If there it's was like, a, ah, she's hot. If a four year old teacher fucked my 14 year old daughter, I would seriously consider murdering yeah, the teacher. Like, I'd seriously consider murdering Fuck them yeah. at my own fucking hands. Yeah. But if it was the other way around, I'd be like, dude, you're sick. I'd be like, damn, that's Get crazy. It. Give her, I'd like make sure she, she, I could go see her the next week at TCBY and be like, yeah, you should be fucking serving ice cream. That serves you right. Yeah. Fucking my boy. She'd be fucking Baskin Robbins 31 flavors. Dude. You'd be trying to fuck her. You'd be like, yeah, you had the fucking young bull, dude. You had the calf. Come get it. You want to see what I'm working with? Come fucking go on the old horny goats farm, dude. I would. That actually I could get into following up my son and be like, I'm so much better than him. I'm so much better than him. What if you weren't, dude? There's a couple of tricks up my sleeve. I haven't taught my boy yet. You want to see him? What if I weren't? You teach your boy all There's the There's a good chance I won't be, dude. There's a good chance my son, the rate I'm going, will blow yeah. me out of the fucking water, dude. Really? Yeah, my son will be black. I'm going to have a black son, dude. Get ready for that. <laughs> yes, dude. I'm going to be racist against your son. Dude, fucking, dude, don't oppress my fucking son, dude. I'm going to oppress the shit out no, of your dude. son, dude. No. Yes. Dude, don't. Let me let me be his godfather. So Definitely, that I dude. can be like, uh, actually, my godson's black. So, yeah, that'd be so uh, fucking funny. That'd be so fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, I thought about this, dude. I will have a black son. If, if you have a black son and I'm his godfather... When we baptize him, I'm going to be like, oh, I bet you can't swim. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be racist as fuck. The priest would be dying. He'd be like, <laughs> yeah. the priest would be like that was pretty funny, but dude, chill. The priest would like pull his hand off his penis. Like, what'd you say, bud? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, my black son's going to be sick, dude. It's going to be so funny, dude. It's that I've really thought about strategies for how like to navigate that. And that's going to be a tough one. What, having a black son? Yeah. You better hope this podcast gets erased from the internet. Fuck You've him. never been racist. You've never been racist. Fuck him. I'd be like, dude, that, I won't mean... You better hope you don't have an I Asian... I won't deal with fucking... You better what? hope you don't slip into some sort of Asian son somehow. Uh, he might come out Asian. Oh. He could come out Asian. You do have all that MSG in you. I'm saying if I keep eating his MSGs, he might have an Asian son. <laughs> he might have an Asian son. <laughs> that would be, that'd be oh. funny if I had like a really good relationship with my black son. He listened to this podcast and was like, fuck Uncle Shane, dude. I remember when I see him every year. <laughs> fuck him. <laughs> uh... Do you think when Asian babies come out of the womb, they cry like, oh, <laughs> oh, ah. I never yes, heard an Asian dude. baby. <laughs> yes. You're back. Yes. I never heard an Asian baby cry. They don't cry. We should dude. go get one. They are very honorable. We should go adopt one. Get an Asian baby? Just hear it cry and be like, all right, we're done. Thanks. <laughs> Take them back. <laughs> Take <them> back. <laughs> Send them back to the curry. Yeah, that's uh, send them back down the Nile, dude, and be like, "Fucking put them in a basket." Oh, send them back there with a game. We should adopt a North Korean. Do they uh, no export no North Korean babies? No, they're not exporting shit <laughs> except fucking intercontinental ballistic missiles, dude. We, in my in my grade school gym class, I think I was like seventh or eighth grade. We, they had like this lady who I realized like every gym teacher I've ever had is always like a lesbian. For sure. So like, yeah. This, I had one of those. This lady, Except for one I had. <laughs> we had a gym teacher. She used to ride a cat. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that. That's enough. <laughs> we had this gym teacher. This lesbian used to ride a Kawasaki Ninja to class. This <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm just realizing this now. <laughs> like, oh sick, dude. man, <laughs> she was so weird. But like, yeah, lady gym teachers are the weirdest you know, people on earth. She was bizarre. She like. She like made it this big deal to get this uh like different teachers were put on assemblies. Because <laughs> <laughs> the gym teacher here, I'll get into your level of psychology here. Because the gym teacher, female gym teacher that's a lesbian, still has that nurturing side where she's like, I want to work with kids, I want to be around children and help them develop. But boy, do I love sports! <laughs> I'm gonna be a gym teacher, get these kids oh in get the gear. Oh my God. I'm gonna take my ninja down to the class, <laughs> dude. She she was room on the Kawasaki, dude. So we, <laughs> every like you know, people set up different um, presentations. I remember she made this big deal to get like this. It was like an African tribal song band. Or something. <laughs> I'm gonna bring in a couple of blacks banging on some drums. Teach these kids about culture. <laughs> she was Your like gym teacher, well, real close was, to Macho. She, I know, I know. She was like, <laughs> she was like, oh, yeah. she was like 1992 woke. So she was like, we got it. Like when Paul Simon yeah. started like going and like playing in Africa. So she had like. She brought th- th- these dudes and played this, and like I remember her, like st- like these guys came down. They're like JJ Kool Aid. <laughs> they sang like, about Kool Aid. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> <was> like, 
<laughs> she hired a bunch of black dudes from Philly, gave them dashikis, and was like, I don't know, sing about whatever you guys talk about. I don't know, make up a Kool Aid song. I don't fucking know. No, it was a Kool Aid. It was it was JJ Kool Aid, and then like they're like and they would go J, and they clap their hands, and we we're all supposed to sing along, but our whole school just stared at them and was like, "What the fuck is this?" Uh, no. And then Miss Campbell, the gym teacher, stood up and faced us all. Went J J Kool Aid, clapped her hands. We all just still looked at her like. Like, no, we're not fucking doing this shit. Dude, <laughs> so oh, fucking fuck. That's a horrendous bomb for those dudes to bomb in front of kids like that. Oh. You can't get them to I mean, chant probably with a you. Co- there was definitely a couple girls, because grade school girls, they always were fucking annoying. They get up and they're like, I'll do it. And everyone's yeah. looking at them like, shut the fuck up. But then, like, so that was his backstory on this lady. So we would do, in gym class, when we played baseball, I wouldn't, I wouldn't play at all. I would just be the other team's manager. <laughs> And then every call, she was the ump. And every call she called, I'd come out and be like, "Are you are you serious, Miss Campbell? Get out of here!" And I got ejected from gym. <laughs> she made oh, me go fuck. sit on the swing. So I was like, "You must be blind, dude." She, dude it was so funny. We had, a, we had a gym teacher, a female gym teacher, that would call call all the kids snake. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> I don't know. She was nuts, dude. Hey, she snake. was like, yeah, she was like, uh, she was in the military. <laughs> So she, I don't know what she was nuts, dude. But she would see. She'd be like, "Get him, snake! Get him!" Like, kids what would the be fuck? like, "Come here, snakes!" <laughs> <laughs> Bring the kids in. And then I'll never, it's one of the funniest fucking things ever. And it's not going to translate to this. But me and a couple of my friends were juniors in high school, and we were at a basketball game, and we were leaving, and we were walking past her, and she was just some crazy lady. But she like saw us leaning by, walking by her in the stands and she like leaned forward to like give us high fives on the uh-huh. way out and she was like senioritis uh, not yet <laughs> she, she, she like panicked and realized we were juniors oh. she was like trying to be cool when we were walking she goes, senioritis <laughs> not yet <laughs> and we were like what the fuck dude I mean I can't think of a, like a catholic school gym teacher of the hiring process was probably just like how they scouted and hired that yeah. position must be so fucking funny. Oh, fuck. High school gym was some of the most fun ever because right after me and my friend Matt learned that like oh this doesn't count because we had a female gym teacher Mary Lodge who was old and didn't <laughs> give a fuck and like very diminutive so like yeah. we realized like oh we can do anything. So like we would go play tennis and like me and him had a thing called mega tennis where like we just wouldn't play by the rules and just be like and hit it as hard as we can, and somebody would be like, boom! And like, she'd be like, stop doing that! And we were just like terrorists in that fucking class. That's awesome. It was like, it also won't translate, but some of class I had. Just wonderful. I fucking loved it, man. Just I, really A lot wonderful. of good nut I mean, shots. I got hit in the dick once. That did sucked. you? Yeah, pin guard. No I was, uh... Dude. I guard the pin, and then I didn't talk. Dude, I was just, fucking down. I don't think there's a, like a, a funnier thing than when they do... When they, we did gym class dodgeball, when it's boys versus... Or it's like boys versus girls, or oh like mixed God, teams. A, a girl would always get hit in the head and cry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was usually my boy Bert. Like, watch this, dude. And he would just be like, launch a fucking ball. You and may like, remember Bert from the prison, <laughs> prison episode. <laughs> like, like literally, yeah, I remember, I, it's just funny when you're a little kid and it's like you're playing dodgeball and then we had a girl who's like kind not retarded but like totally like whacked some way oh. and I remember just being like as a little kid like oh my god I can't wait to throw this ball at this retarded girl it's gonna be so funny oh man and you're just like I wonder what happens you're like oh she cries never mind <laughs> Dude, the, like the last semester of like eighth grade or whatever, we did like pin guard, and the gym teachers were like, "Oh, this is great! It's the last day!" And they were sitting on the mats, and like I forget what's pin guard. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Greek dodgeball, same kind of thing. There's two bowling pins set up, and so you say Greek <laughs> dodgeball? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> same. What's that? Like hiding in a room, not trying to get butt fucked. <laughs> <laughs> You do on two sides of a basketball court. We were playing uh, pin guard. It's like, wait, what's pin guard? You know, great dodgeball. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? That's when about? little boys bend over on a couch and close their eyes and their uncle fucking runs around. What are we playing? It's a great dodgeball. It's some, it's some fucking dodgeball game where you got to throw it and hit the beat. You know, there's gator balls that were loud and thudding, but they didn't yeah, fuck yeah, anybody yeah. up. So this one kid was like ran up to the line to try to fucking really annihilate somebody and just turned 90 and fucking <laughs> blasted the female gym teacher. Oh. <laughs> it's like, I wonder if that's part of like the female Dude. gym teacher test. Is like they just have like a pitching machine chucking <laughs> softballs at you. And you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. she got, it. she ate it, dude. Oh, that's fuck. God damn it! Oh my god! But we were little kids, so we didn't know to laugh. We were just like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, 
<laughs> my, there was this one. There was this teacher in my grade school uh, who fell down a hill. <laughs> they, used to, they used to take us out. We said some, injury. Did you guys have? You went to Catholic grade school, right? Yeah. So <laughs> they did this thing where like they would take us to the cemetery. We had to like sit out in the cemetery and like read and like pray. It was really weird. Like sometimes we just sat weird. near a grave. They would like sit, it was called a desert experience. This one lady what? used to sit us next to a grave. We each pick one. Then you had to sit and like read it in one of your textbooks near the grave. Whoa. What? Yeah, it was weird. It was called a desert experience. This one lady made us do it. But as we're She's coming, a fucking That's whack job, dude. It was crazy, dude. It was insane. How old were you when this happened? Uh, like seventh grade. Study grade. around that. That's young. We were, we were just read, it was like for English class. We read like our novels or books. We'd read. But You'd still, read weird. books to dead to, to de- tombstones on top of dead people. Yeah. It's called a was desert. Going on with that teacher, man, that was a fucking. But I think that teacher was one who did it. The other one was like, if you had to go to the from the school, there's like an this old teacher fell down a hill. No, no, that the teacher who that was a teacher. That was not the teacher who fell That's down the hill. She got fired for making kids go to a graveyard. You can't do that. That lady was out of her fucking mind. <laughs> Falling down a hill is so dude. fucking. Funny. Trying to run to keep up on your feet. <laughs> this would do. This was like a 65 year old lady who was like, you know, she was like tall but like pretty, like not like She's, fat, but she was a. She's a hulking woman. She's a hulking old woman. <laughs> yeah. And uh, oh, we were walking. There was like a, uh, an October day, I remember, because like there was a ton of dead leaves on the ground. So she slid on one of the dead leaves <laughs> and then just literally just tumble roll, <laughs> just tumbled like down the thing. And my cousin and uh, my cousin and my friend Bert, my cousin Pat, my friend Bert, ran down the hill pointing at her spinning body going, ah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> 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 laughing as she's falling. <laughs> And she just came in. She came in and gave them both the dead. It was the fucking Holy funniest fuck. thing. Because she got up and was like picking leaves out of her hair. Like, <laughs> and there was like, ah. I could have been seriously injured. Dude, this, and the one time. So there was one of our, our first grade teacher. <laughs> our first grade teacher died. <laughs> but like, but like or, I don't know, the husband of our first grade teacher, sorry, the husband of our first grade teacher died when we were in eighth grade. How'd he die? Do you know? He's as old as fuck. He died. Okay. I don't know. Oh, he just he just died. So then, like you were allowed, you were allowed to go to his. And remember in eighth grade, like they said, like if anyone wants to go to you know the Mrs. Funeral? McGrody's husband's funeral, you can go to the Hell funeral yeah. out of class. You can get class. That. A lot of people <laughs> took it. I'm like, nah, I'm chilling. I don't want to go. Yeah, to, I don't like funerals. Like, I'm not, back then, I was an older boy. I'm like, you want me to go to a funeral? You gotta give me five bucks. True. I wasn't nice. going to a funeral for free, so I'm like, nah, I'm gonna chill in class. Yeah. We weren't gonna do anything anyway. So fuck yeah. it. It was me, my boy Bert. Pat, a couple people were just like, fuck the funeral, we're going to chill here. (laughs) (laughs) So I I think actually um, a bunch of people came back, but the teacher wasn't back yet because the teacher was still at the funeral. And the one boy was crying. This one kid, Casey, was crying. And Phil went up to him and was like, me, 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 I'm so sad. It was making like a a crying baby face. uh, (laughs) So then like he's doing it and then a teacher walks in and sees him like, Mama Grody. <laughs> oh my no. god. So then as like a teacher is yelling at him, my cousin came up behind him going like the <laughs> teacher's head and then another teacher saw him and he was like, oh <laughs> Dude, did you ever have teachers cry make teachers cry? Yes, I, mean, I personally made a teacher oh, cry. We had this one there's this one teacher, uh Mrs. Carnahan. <laughs> and, dude, we made her cry so fucking much. That's like so every funny. day she was crying. But then uh, she God. would sing at church. She would sing. Uh, it's not Ave Maria. It's like, gentle woman, peaceful dog. Yeah, okay. Teach us so, wisdom. Yeah. Teach us so love. Yeah. Her and another teacher. You were chosen. Her, her and another clearly a lesbian <laughs> teacher, the one that was a fan of the Hershey Bears, <laughs> would double sing that song. Because there's two parts. Stop, dude. So one of them would be like, Gentle woman, the other one quiet would be like, the oh, no. morning star, <laughs> so, so shining bright. I know my, all uh, those songs. My too. friend the Polak was like, <laughs> he was like, <laughs> Mrs. Carnahan, you're such a good singer. Can you please sing Ave Maria? <laughs> she, would, she would sing it like on command. And then we would all laugh and she'd start crying. Oh, my but we could, God. But you could get her to be like, gentle woman. <laughs> People would be like, <laughs> <laughs> Suck, you suck at singing. <laughs> oh, Dude, we, uh, in my graduation, the, the practice, it was like, for eighth, we had an eighth grade teacher who, like, was total white trash. I don't know how she got this job. She had to try to read us, like, try, she tried to make us read Les Miserables, and she would stand up there and be like, uh, 
And and then George George Fiend George <laughs> she couldn't, Fien, read. She couldn't even fucking like that. Dude, it, it is real weird. Like I even think about this because my girlfriend's a kindergarten teacher. Like, think how weird these fucking not my girlfriend. She's not weird, but like mm-hmm. when you're well, she's weird as fuck. But when you're around <laughs> kids and you're the only adult, like think of those two fat ladies singing Ave Maria for like twenty seventh graders. Like, yeah, be like we're gonna go to the church. Me and Sandra are going to sing for you. <laughs> like, just making kids sit there. And you stand and be like, oh. <laughs> and kids are just like, yeah. Oh like, be quiet and respect this. <laughs> Who insane. laughed? Who laughed? Could you please leave if you're laughing? <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm singing right now. Could you please leave? <laughs> it's insane. So you got a bunch of seventh graders just like, you just have them okay. captive. Just okay. Like, <laughs> like, come watch my talent. Oh. Oh. It's funny because that's exactly what happened if they did that any other job. The yeah. would be like, <laughs> yeah, be like, shut the fuck up, shut up, you weirdo. Yeah, girls used to beat the fuck out of dudes. <laughs> In my fifth, sixth grade, there was like, when a dude lost a fight to a girl, that happened often. That was Never like, saw it. fifth grade, I learned how to spear, like the Goldberg spear. Took it out on some. Yeah, you fucked up. Started started you fucked your sisters up. Oh, they found out. I saw. I remember uh, this girl named Tasia beat the fuck out of the principal. What? what school? Wait, what type of school did you go to? Public. Public. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. Sorry. Yeah, there's a girl named Tasia. Yeah. White chick? Yeah, definitely. Oh, Rusky? Wow. Nice Jewish family. She's Russian. <laughs> no, was, uh, uh, there was like three black families in our community. So like, well, I thought you said she's Jewish. Yeah, I was making a joke. Like, uh, she was insinuating of like, Tasia? Yeah. Tasia. No, she, uh, she, I don't know, something happened. They had a lady vice principal who came out to the like the bus waiting area one day and something <laughs> happened and then I remember turning around just seeing a hand come up and Tasia just, yeah Tasia landed on the side of that lady's head and fucking Tasia mm, fucked her up just down yeah she was in a pantsuit getting fucked up dude. <laughs> <laughs> Beat up she kids. dressed for business and she fucking <laughs> oh my god those are always like the harshest videos to watch on, like, <laughs> teachers, not, teachers <laughs> getting knocked out by black kids in schools is like it's so dude. fucking brutal dude. it's so funny <laughs> everybody had no idea what to do it was just like what the Fuck, dude. Yeah, that's driver, tough. I always wondered about that. If I had to teach and like I was in a real bad school, I would be ready. Really I'd be school. ready nice. for a fight. I'm not saying your school is There's bad. Some I'm talking about of... the teachers where the teachers get knocked out by students. It's like oh, usually it takes place in fucked up schools. Those are yeah. tough. There's it's some like, videos of I watched one the other I'd day. I fantasize about like, dude, I dare some fucking about trying to these fuck these me up, dude. No, but, uh, it's anyone, dude. About anyone trying to get me about slipping and coming back, dude. Yeah. There's one video now I just saw of a teacher body slamming a student through like a desk. Like Dang. the teacher, the kid runs up to him and he fucking gets him and sl- I mean, knocks him out with a fucking slam. Imagine yeah. how long he's been waiting to do that. Oh, that kid was probably such a dickhead the whole school year. <laughs> know, the whole I school know. year. The guy's up there trying to write something on the board. The kid's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's far, he's throwing shit. Yeah, dude, Mr. Gilbertson's a far. bitch. He's like, <laughs> 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 he's right, right on the charge. He's like, come on, guys, come on, settle I mean, down, dude. That's tough. <laughs> yeah, one day, dude. He's like, I'm going to fucking powerbomb you, dude. <laughs> I'd snap. I'd fucking snap, You'd dude. Get, they'd get in your guard. <sighs> I'd freak out. After I'd be like, oh, okay. The third day of, like, pussy, I'd fucking snap, <laughs> dude. You never hear I'm about that, I'm not a fucking pussy. Fuck yeah, you no, you do. There's videos of teachers, like, white teachers, like, white ladies coming into classes. They're so fucking funny. Because really? the way the kids are laughing at them is like, <laughs> <laughs> like while these teachers like this is why you don't have a fucking future Whoa. you don't show respect to me you black asshole that's what like, says oh. who says it no, there's videos of teachers like dropping the n-word like they totally lose it full losing their fucking mind it's Man, so funny walk away, dude. and the Damn. black kids are just dying laughing oh, you know funny yeah. oh my god making a teacher cry exactly it's yeah. as funny as it gets we're, we're, we're full circle now yeah but it's probably it, we are but it's also imagine Making your teacher yell slurs is the thing better That's than all. making your I mean, teacher. I mean, we never understood that. Grade. Yeah, if you yeah. if you were a black kid and you you had the power to force someone to lose their job, and if slurring. Yes. Oh that's my the best god, shit dude, that's just endless high fives. Yeah. See, I would laugh forever. Oh my god, and I also imagine don't break down. Yeah. Oh. Also imagine having the the knowledge that your dad's probably not going to fuck you up after school. That just opens the day of school to just full fuckery. Yeah, that, that's I a, always had that in the, the back of my mind. It's like if I get dude. if I get a pink slip today, yep. I'm getting fucked up. Exactly. So like if a teacher did something, I I remember I got like suspended. and I'd like start to cry. Mm. I'm like, my, dad, my dad's gonna hit me. Don't don't don't. <laughs> and like, why well, you should have thought about that? 